Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. I have been doing a lot of purifying and walking around using the walking glitch and going to bed. What do you expect? Anyway, it is time to once again purify more Pokemon. Kicking off with, I uh, guess we'll kill with Absol. Why not? I'm just going to choose the Pokemon that are definitely not going to be on my team. Uh, and then the ones that may or definitely will. Um, I'm still fairly certain of what I'm going to have on my team. Uh, but, yeah, there are some still pretty good choices. I mean, Absol's a pretty good choice. He's got Parish Song. That's all good. Uh, your name shall be... I don't know, you seem like sort of like disasters wherever you go, according to your Pokedex entry. I guess you'll be Neville. Neville! Hello, Neville. Alright, next Pokemon. It's going to be... Tropius! Yay! Yes, my troll Tropius! It's a shame he doesn't have all the other moves. I think he can probably have Toxic Leech Seed substitute. You know, but the Harvest ability... Mm, I'm not so sure about that. And if we gain the move Solar Beam, this is more of a defensive Tropius. You're still going to get the same name as my troll Tropius, though. Like, it's a really bad name, anyway. Your name will be Nanaf. There you go. As in banana and giraffe. Because that's kind of what you are. Mm. Oh, well. Tropius sounds like a better name anyway, so there you go. Anyway, next Pokemon is going to be Sunflora. We will definitely never be using this. Never. Never ever using Sunflora because you're terrible. Alright, open the door to its heart, regain the move Sunny Day, regain zero experience points. You are incredibly weak and terrible, uh, some flora, so I guess, since it's also a uh, pun on, like, plants and vegetables, uh, I'm gonna name you Raditz. There you go. You are Raditz, some flora. You're that bad. Is either that or Yamcha? I don't know. We'll go for Raditz, though. Alright, next up, Delibird! Yay! And with that Delibird, another Pokemon that I'm probably never going to use. I mean, there are better Ice types and there are better Steel, uh, better Flying types. There's Skarmory and uh, and Piloswine. So there you go. Regain the move Blizzard and regain zero experience. All of these are going to be regaining zero experience. So there you go. Uh, your name shall be Commando, because well. Everyone who's what uh, who's uh, played uh, the first Fire Emblem game in the Commando mission and GDI mission will know exactly why. But if not, I'll give you a clue. I got a present for you! So, there you go. Anyway. Our next Pokemon shall be... Oh, God. Heracross. Alright, um, what name am I going to give Heracross? Because I, I never used a competitive Heracross and I don't have a Heracross in Pokemon Go because it is a region exclusive. So, this could be an issue, trying to think of a name for a Heracross. I mean, it's a beetle. It's a, it's a beetle. Oh, I got one. I got one. I'll tell you what. We're going to call you Chief Dung. Because you're a beetle. Dung beetle. I know you're supposed to be based off a stag beetle. But screw it. Your name shall be Chief Dung. There you go. Alright. And last but not least, at least in this purification, we still have four to go, by the way. So, there we go. Mill tank! Yes! Mm. Yes, so Mill tank is all sorted now. Oh, God. Gets milk drink. Oh, great. It's a ribbon. And I'm just going to call you Bloody Cow. Because we hate you still from Pokemon Gold, so you're a bloody cow. There you go. We still have four Pokemon to go, so I'm going to get them out of the uh, PC box and uh, purify them as well. See you back in a bit. Alright guys, we are back and we have four more Shadow Pokemon. Uh, Tyranitar, Skarmory, Metagross and Houndoom. That we can uh, get back to normal. Let's kick off with the one that we're not going to be using, which will be Skarmory. It's a shame, I know, I've had a, a great Skarmory in uh, Pokemon Ruby, but um, still. <coughs> you know, I've, I've got different choices, let's say. 
So, Skarmory has opened the door to its heart, regaining the move Drill Pack, and at zero experience points. Obtained a ribbon, and nickname, please. Alright, well, your name is obviously going to be Hadrian, because, well, from, from that Let's Play, indeed, and you were a very good Pokemon for my main team, so, there you go, Hadrian! Yay! Alright, now, finally, the three Pokemon that I'm adding to my team! Oh, this is gonna be good. First off, let's go for the one that's uh, the lowest level, which is Houndoom. So Houndoom will be replacing Umbreon as my dark type Pokemon. Um, it could also replace Entei as my fire type Pokemon, so it works either way there, uh, which is perfectly fine. And regain the move Faint Attack and regain zero experience. Uh, we'll give a nickname to Houndoom. Um, this is a little bit of a, a, a joke between um, a mate of mine when we were doing Pokemon Go. Um, yeah, and we just started laughing at Chancellor Houndoom. So we're going to call you Chancellor. Chancellor Houndoom. Also, you're on the dark side, so that works pretty well. There you go. Chancellor Houndoom. All right. Next up. That's its full title, by the way. Chancellor Houndoom. Right. Tyranitar, you're next, because I want to leave Metagross to last. Because... It's Metagross. Then again, this is Tyranitar, so there you go. Anyway, we don't really need to train up Tyranitar at all. He's level 55, so he's right in the middle of our uh, of our stats up here, which is very nice. We're getting the move Crunch. Gain zero experience points. You'll be replacing Entei or Umbreon. And give a nickname to Tyranitar. Yes, I shall. Your name shall be Rockzilla. Yes. Yes, I have had names all sorted because of... As I've said already, I have these Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Including a Tyranitar, which is one of my top six best Pokemon I have. Rockzilla! And last but not least... Metagross! Ah, oh, okay, so Metagross is going to be replacing, um... Uh, Ruby, now. Um, the reason for this, people may be wondering, hang on a minute. Metagross has got, like, really bad uh, special attack. Why even bother? The Steel Typing is always nice. It's also very bulky. It can, uh... You know, it can defend an attack. And that attack stat's pretty good for steel attacks. You know, plus having a steel attack that... Uh, a steel type Pokemon is always good because they resist so much. Anyway, it's time to give a nickname to Metagross. And it's... Well... He shall get the name of my competitive Metagross, who is Henger. From the uh, Monster Rancher series. So, because it, it does sort of just look like a big bulky Henger. Really, from that series. But anyway, just to show off the uh, the moves we have so far. So, uh, Tyranitar's got a beast move set of Crunch, Thunder, Rock Slide, and Blizzard. And yes, Rock Slide does hit both opponents and could flinch them. All good there. Um, I've also given uh, Tyranitar the Hard Stone, because initially, Tyranitar had a Nugget, which I've sold. Anyway, um, Hadrian has the Sharp Beak and has Drill Peck, Metal Sound, Air Cutter, and Steel Wing. Pretty decent move set altogether. Uh, Houndoom, oh, Chancellor has the, uh, Black Glasses, uh, which I've taken from, uh, Umbra, and has Fate Attack, Howl, Smog, and Flamethrower. That just will not do, will it? <coughs> call that, <coughs> call that a moveset? <coughs> That's not a moveset at all. But we do have things to sort that out, like maybe Sunny Day. Yes, Sunny Day. So, let's get rid of probably Hal first, because, you know, only the poison would work really with that. And finally, we're trying to get someone to use Solar Beam, because this is best idea. Solar Beam on Chancellor Houndoom. So, so now, Ch so now pretty much Houndoom can take out its uh, some of its weaknesses, which is very good. Let's get rid of Smog for that. But also, it's got Flamethrower. Now, even though Flamethrower is not as good as Fire Blast, in my opinion, it is better than Fire Blast, because as much as it's not very good in the way of... Oh, it's not as powerful. But it has more PP, and it also... Um, it, it, it's, it's got more accuracy. And sometimes, if you miss, that's pretty bad. That could cost you the match, let's say. Anyway, um, I'm always just show you off the uh, the glitch I've been doing to get this all done. So, literally, I've just been doing this. As you can see, I'm still running, but I'm stuck in one place. So, pretty much, when you're about to go to bed, put a, put your controller down, 
pop something on it. I have a glasses case here, so I just pop that on that. And he just runs all night. Pretty good. Anyway. Again, oh my god, you glitch, you glitchy bastard. It's in the game, for god's sakes. Why would they even put it there? Anyway, we are going to be going back to the real game tower and taking out Eve Ice with our main team. So I'll see you back there. Alright guys, we are back, and as you can see, we now have 42 snagged and 42 purified Pokemon. So, uh, with that, this is my main team that I'm going with. So we have Olive and Ribbons up front, obviously. We have Chancellor, Henger, Diego, and Roxilla. Uh, Diego's the only one that hasn't got any, uh, uh, any held item because we don't know where to get the magnet from at the moment. Where do you get the magnet? Can you get the magnet? Hmm, don't know. Anyway, it's time for our second attempt at battling E-Vice. Now, since we do own and have purified his Shadow Tyranitar, it would have still happened if we just owned his Tyranitar and just kept his Shadow Pokemon. Um, he is going to have another new member of his team. So, uh, this is going to be a tough battle here against E-Vice, but we're kicking straight off. Ah, oh, it's good to see you. Indeed it is. I've been worried about you. I was worried that you'd run off out of fear of me. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Um, for future reference, uh, 1611. That's why I can cut it out. Now are you prepared to be devastated once again? Ha ha ha! I'll happily humiliate you as often as you're willing. This bloody old git, I tell ya. Alright, fine. With your weird earthquakes and stuff. All right, Evice, I'm ready for you this time. We have our main team ready. That's all that matters. Oh, God. No, we're not ready. Mm, you had to send those two out first, didn't you? You just had to send those two out first. All right, we are pretty much screwed already. We're about to lose a lot of Pokemon. With Slacking and Sloking out in the field, we are buggered. Because Sloking is going to skill swap the Slacking. That's all that's going to matter there. And Slacking is just so... So bulky. That's a problem there. Sloking is pretty bulky too. Alright, Surf. If we're faster than Slacking, we might be able to get away with this. We might. Yeah, we might actually be able to get away with this. Ooh, we might be able to knock them both out. Crush Claw, oh god. Please tell me you don't kill. Ah, oh, nice one, Ribbons. Yeah, he's gonna go for the skill swap now. Yeah. So now with a skill swap, um, Slacking's true ability is no longer on Slacking, so Slacking can use all of its power to good use. There's only one problem with that. The problem being, we're about to kill him. If we can take out one of his best strategies at the start, that's all that matters here. Slacking's in trouble. Ribbons is in trouble, but that's fine. He's about to knock out two Pokemon. Slowking's dead. This is good. Slowking's gone. Slacking is about to go. This is going amazingly well so far for the Surfquake combo. Salamence. Ugh, crap. Alright. Well, let's not go for, um... Let's not go for another Surfquake, shall we? We don't want that, because now he's brought out, now he's got his two strongest Pokemon on the field. But, his Slacking is gone, and that's all that matters. We have been able to defeat Slacking while a skill swap was in play. Right, Salamence is next. That's our next big problem we need to worry about. Who's he bringing out? Sizor. Alright, Sizor, I'm fine with having Sizor out at this point. I'm perfectly fine with that. Dragon Breath. And probably Blizzard. Olive is faster than Salamence. I can't believe that. Can we get a Paralysis, please, on Salamence? That'd be great. Come on, Paralysis. Paralysis, damn it. Ooh, but Blizzard... Okay, please at least hit. Yes! Hit Salamence for quad effectiveness damage! And there goes Salamence! Alright, we've knocked out his two strongest Pokemon. They're gone. Sizor, we can be easy. Fire, just use a fire type on it. It's dead. Machamp. Alright. That's fine. I believe Machamp's special defenses are still utter garbage. So that's fine by me. Ugh. Well, Ribbons took a hit for the team here. That's fine. Alright, who are we going to bring in now? 
Uh, I feel like Diego is a pretty good shout here. Or maybe Chancellor. Let's bring in Diego. Alright, so. We're looking pretty strong right now. We've lost one Pokemon. He's lost three, into, including his two strongest. So we're looking very good right now. Very good indeed. Right, Fire Blast the Sizor. Thunder the Machamp. Nice one, Diego. Go, Diego! Ooh, nice. Half damage. That's good. Right now, Fire Blast! Go, Olive! Yes! He's gone. All right, four down. Two to go. We're looking very good right now. Very good. But what's his last new Pokemon? Let's find out. It's an Agron. It is an Agron. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, that was a bad move. <coughs> that was a bad move, Machamp. He just knocked out his own aggro with Earthquake. What a moron. All we got left is to take it out now. Oh, and Diego took a hit. All right, that's fine. Right. This is, this is very good. He's down to one Pokemon, and it's a Machamp. Henga, you're in. All right. We're down to two. Well, it's four versus one here. He can't win this. He can't win this. Dragon Breath on Machamp. Psychic on Machamp. X Attack. You just wasted your turn and you've lost. Here's Dragon Breath. Here's some damage. Have fun with that. Yeah. Oh, come on, Henga. Finish. Oh, Paralysis as well. Henga, finish this off with Psychic. Go, Henga. Yes. And we defeat Eve Ice. Have that. Sometimes it's good to have good levels on him, you know. Usually I'd say about 50... Like 50 is probably the bare minimum you could fight him with. Um, if you do get him... If you do fight him like 14 or 8 or whatever, you're pretty lucky. So well played. No! Even my ultimate Pokemon! What do you mean? I, I stole your ultimate Pokemon in the last video. And then my last act of defiance, I stole it. Halt! Stop where you are! There's no getting away this time! That's the police. And... Duke King's here! And Silver's here! Cypher's finished! The Shadow Pokemon plan ends now! Even Egan's turned up! <sighs> Rui! You alright? The Pikachu's here too! The level 50 Pikachu that will be able to kill nothing here. Maybe Slow King. Blast you! Don't you forget what you've done, Mastrath. It won't end this way next time. I'll ruin you the next time. I promise you that the next time. And the next time. Oh, why is that a helicopter? No, he's trying to escape with a helicopter. Yeah, it is. Wah! Let us meet again. Our bid to take over the world using Shadow Pokemon hasn't ended yet. Oh god, what the hell's that? What's that? What's that? Oh god, something's using flame charge! Up, and that, and that, and that. Helicopter pilot is now dead. Your plan. I think it just ended. What? Uvice, you and your cronies are under arrest. <laughs> I like the way that... What is with Evice's, like, body posture? And Nascar's posture is just like... Oh god, not again. <sighs> Oh, what, what was, what is that? Hey, it's Ho-Oh! -Oh. What's Ho-Oh -Oh doing here? It's a legendary Pokemon! It's a Ho-Oh! -Oh. It is! It really is a Ho-Oh! -Oh. It's incredible! It must have been keeping an eye on your heroics from the sky above! You obviously earn its support, even though you're a thief! And a stealing Pokemon, technically. Of course, it would never, also never allow criminals to get off scot-free. Not when they're guilty of an outrage like creating Shadow Pokemon. Yeah, um, excuse me, hello? Uh, you're supposed to be all about this justice and all that stuff. You do know you just killed a guy in a helicopter. Do you know, uh, it may have fallen on people in the crowd. Do you know how many people you might have just killed? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. So, what was watching over us? Mastrath, I guess it's finally over. We faced a lot of challenges, but thanks to you, Mastrath, everything has been resolved. 
Nastra, thank you. You were strong. You answered the call. And you were cool. God's sakes. Look at that! Ho! Oh, so close! So true! This is the first time I've seen one up so close. Rui and Mastrath, the Ho is blessing you for your victory! Such a perfect outcome, yes indeed. And with that, we all go into a coma and believe that Pikachu can actually talk to us. Well, he's in the 20th movie, but so, there you go. But anyway guys, that's Pokemon Coliseum! Yeah, you've seen the part numbers, we're not done yet. We have got a lot of post-game left to go. We may have purified all the Shadow Pokemon we have at the moment. But we still have some Shadow Pokemon that we haven't caught yet. For example, when we caught Croconaw, there were two other people. One probably would have had a Bayleaf and the other would have had a Quilava. Where are they at the moment? Alongside a lot of other Shadow Pokemon, a lot of other challenges. And we need to find out what's Ho-Oh doing with all this. So, I guess we'll find out in the next episode. This LP is not done yet, folks. We've got a long way to go still. So, um, what are we going to do in the next episode? Uh, I don't know. It's going to be map battle, isn't it? Oh, to 100% the game, you have to beat map battle not once, but twice. That's 100 trainers in a row. Twice. Well, I guess we'll get to that when we come to it. So, guys, I will see you for the next part of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, uh, the post-game. I'll see you then.